Welcome to How To Pam and another LibriCAD tutorial. I'm going to work off of the older version that's available in the software stores of Ubuntu and other versions of Linux. It's version 2.09 and we're going to show you how the dock layout uh, appears in that older version and what we can do and how we can move the docks around. Um, let's have a look here. Here we are here. Let's open this up and as you see we have the older version that was available through the dock uh, through the software store. It is version 209 okay so that's not that old that's only a year ago that's from 216 but you'll notice that its layout is a little different the snaps are all up here and the command line is down here and it's quite long and you'll notice we don't have a button here for for moving the widgets there's no widget button however if we right mouse click on here we still have the widgets there okay and we have the library browser and the the block list and the command line okay and if we shut the command line off there it's gone but that doesn't do us much good because we like to use the command line but the newer version has the snaps all laying down here and uh, of course here is your relative and your absolute uh, polar and cartesian coordinates are still here but what can we do about getting this um, you know we shut the command line off then we haven't got it here so let's see what we can do here to lay this out a little differently uh, first of all okay you see here I have the arrow on the line here on my mouse double arrow let's just left mouse click on that and let's move that to resize it over here okay we'll just slide that over here underneath the other ones there we go you can't go too far because it only goes a certain amount and then it stops okay there we are now perhaps you like that a little bit larger we can resize here if we get the arrow right there left mouse click and slide that up to where we have a little bit if you if you like we can do the same here you see we have a double arrow there we can move these up as well to change the size vertical height of these windows okay so you can move your docks that way now what about this one well if you watch my mouse here you'll notice in the corner here there you see I've got the four arrows here let's left mouse click on that and let's just drag that dock see we could drop it in the side here but let's put that right down underneath here let's just drag that right down and where it's blue highlighted there let's drop that in there there we go now we've got our snaps down in that area anything else you want you can also drag down in there and rearrange it. It's just we don't have a convenient button for the widgets as we do on the newer on the newer um, version of uh, LibriCAD, but that's okay. Any of these, you see, here's a the layer dock can be moved similarly. And now you'll also notice that some of the buttons are missing here, but on the older version. But let's say if we want to use some of these we can go ahead and there it is there okay okay and there we go move that command line back into where you want it okay and then we have our widgets set up so you can drag these widgets around to where they're going to be of advantage to you and that will help get the layout 
of LibriCAD, the interface more comfortable the way you prefer it. And again, you can see here we get right on the edge there and we can move that widget. We could put it in here if we wanted, if that's what you like. Okay? Or once we've got that, Okay. We can move them around. Perhaps we could put it over here. You know? There you go. Okay. Now you see that? We could set a line in here. Okay. So you can really move widgets around to where they're most practical for you. Maybe you want it over this way. Okay, so hopefully you enjoyed that little tutorial of how to uh, customize your widgets to uh, customize the interface. Thanks for watching this Libercad tutorial by How2Pam.